Hello, my name is Frederick and this is another Maya the Blender tip video and this one will all be about preferences. Now the first time you open Blender, this will probably be the look and feel you get and also the shortcut keys will be very unfamiliar, especially if you're using Maya before. When you're using Maya for several years, you got the shortcut keys in your fingers, it can be annoying or be quite a steep learning curve to switch over to the Blender shortcut keys. But there's an easy way to get in there and use the keys that you're actually used to. And we can do this by going to Edit, Preferences, and then you're gonna see a list of preferences we can change. First of all, we like to see the color scheme of Maya, which I like anyway. So we go to Themes, and then we have a lot of presets. Obviously we can set every individual setting here, but in the presets we're gonna do a whole set of presets for all these things. And uh, luckily there's a Maya preset. So if we click this, there you go. We got immediately the Maya color scheme, which is a little bit more familiar. For example, when you select something, it's gonna be a green outline instead of an amber one. And that is already a little bit easier to understand. Okay, another thing we can set is the key map. This one is also set to Blender. When we click on the preferences, we can see Blender, we can use Blender 2.7x and the industry compatible. Now the industry compatible is exactly what it says. It is what most 3D programs use and Blender is completely different. So when we can set it to uh, industry compatible, it's gonna look a little bit more the way Maya works. Now we have, for example, this cube selected and when we press W, for example, we can move it. If we press E, we can rotate it. If we press R, we can scale it. And this is exactly the way Maya works. The same thing for object mode and edit mode. If we press 3, we're going to be in edit mode for faces. If we press 2, it's for edges. And if we press 1, it's for vertices. And if we press 4, it's going to be go back to object mode. These are all small things that makes your workflow way a bit quicker when you're used to those shortcut keys in Maya. And then there's a couple of other things we can set before we actually save this preference. For example, the default cube is something that always gets loaded and there's a little gag around the internet that every time you see a tutorial, they delete the default cube. I find it easier to just get rid of it. And so whenever we start a Blender, it's not there anymore. So let's delete it now. And then one of the things that I also always like to set is that the render engine is by default EV, but I prefer to render it in cycles. So I set cycles and then we can go to file defaults and save the startup file. Once we do that, every setting we have set will be saved out. And the next time we start a blender, it will exactly look the way it is right now. If I close this file and don't save anything, I open Blender up again, you're gonna see it's gonna look exactly the way I want it. And my preference is gonna be exactly cycles and I don't have the default cube anymore. Okay, so that's it for the preferences and the way you can make Blender look a little bit more like Maya and get going. How do you say that in English? With your feet hitting the ground running or something like that? Well, there you go. If you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That will get me motivated to make more of these videos. Well, that's it for this video. I'll see you the next time. Bye.